Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, May the 19th, and please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, hold not your peace, O God of my praise. Alleluia, Psalm 109, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, hold not your peace, O God of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They've spoken against me with a lying tongue. They surround me with words of hatred and fight against me without a cause. In return for my love, they are my adversaries while I pray for them. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Send a wicked and a corrupt judge against them and let them be falsely accused. And when they shall be judged, let them be condemned and let their appeal be denied. Let their days be few and let others take their office. Let their children be orphans and their spouses widowed. Let their children be vagabonds and beggars. Let them seek their bread in desolate places. Let creditors take all they have and let strangers take the fruit of their labor. Let none extend mercy to them. Let there be none to favor their orphan children. Let their sons and daughters be destroyed, and in the generation following, blot out their names. Remember the iniquity of their fathers, and retain the sins of their mothers. Let their sin be always before you, that you may remove their memory from the earth. Because they did not show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy, and killed the brokenhearted. As they loved cursing, so let curses come to them. As they delighted in not giving blessings, so let blessings be far from them. As they clothed themselves with cursing like a garment, so let curses come into their bowels like water and like oil into their bones. Let curses be like garments which cover them and a belt that they cannot remove. Let this be the reward my accusers receive from God for them that speak evil against me. But deliver me, O God, for your name's sake, because you love me, rescue me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I fade away like the shadow in the evening. I am shaken off like the locust. My knees are weak from fasting, and my body is thin and gaunt. I became a reproach to them. When they looked upon me, they shook their heads. Help me, O Most High, my God. Save me according to your mercy that they may know that this is your hand, that you, God, have done it. Let them curse me, but you will bless me. When they rise against me, let them be put to shame. Then your servant will rejoice. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame. Let them cover themselves with their own confusion, as with a cloak. I will greatly praise you with my mouth. I will praise you among the multitude. For you shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save them from those that condemn their souls. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hold not your peace, O God of my praise. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 11, beginning at 15. God will restore Israel. Then the word of the Most High came to me. Mortal, your kinfolk, your own kin, your fellow exiles, the whole house of Israel, all of them, are those of whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said, they have gone far from the Most High. To us this land is given for a possession. Therefore say, thus says Yahweh God, though I remove them far away among the nations, and though I scatter them among the countries, yet I have been a sanctuary to them for a little while in the countries where they have gone. Therefore say, thus says Yahweh God, I will gather you from the peoples and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. And when they come there, they will remove from it all its detestable things and all its abominations. I will give them one heart and put a new spirit within them. I will remove the heart of stone from their flesh and give them a heart of flesh, so that they may follow my statutes and keep my ordinances and obey them. Then they shall be my people, 
and I will be their God. But as for those whose heart goes after their detestable things and their abominations, I will bring their deeds upon their own heads, says Yahweh God. Then the cherubim lifted up their wings with the wheels beside them, and the glory of the God of Israel was above them. And the glory of the Most High ascended from the middle of the city and stopped on the mountain east of the city. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me in a vision by the Spirit of God into Chaldea, to the exiles. And then the vision that I had seen left me, and I told the exiles all the things that the Most High had shown me. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia, I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. Alleluia. Psalm 101. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk within my house with a sincere heart. I will set no wicked things before my eyes. I hate the work of them that stray from your paths. They shall not be my friends. I will disown the wicked. The false hearted must stay away from me. I will cut off those who secretly slander their neighbors. I will not tolerate those that have a haughty look and a proud heart. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. Those that walk in a perfect way shall be my friends and serve me. Any that work deceit shall not dwell within my house. Any that tell lies shall not stand in my sight. And in the morning I will destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all evildoers from your holy city. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 7, beginning at verse 1. The Priestly Order of Melchizedek. This King Melchizedek of Salem, priest of the Most High God, met Abraham as he was returning from defeating the kings, and blessed him. And to him Abraham apportioned one-tenth of everything. His name, in the first place, means King of Righteousness. Next, he is also king of Salem, that is, king of peace. Without father, without mother, without genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but resembling the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. See how great he is. Even Abraham, the patriarch, gave him a tenth of the spoils. And those descendants of Levi who received the priestly office have a commandment in the law to collect tithes from the people that is, from their kindred, though these also are descended from Abraham. But this man, who does not belong to their ancestry, collected tithes from Abraham, and blessed him who had received the promises. It is beyond dispute that the inferior is blessed by the superior. In the one case, tithes are received by those who are mortal, in the other by one of whom it is testified that he lives. One might even say that Levi himself, who receives tithes, paid tithes through Abraham, for he was still in the loins of his ancestor when Melchizedek met him. Now, if perfection had been attainable through the Levitical priesthood, for the people received the law under this priesthood, what further need would there have been to speak of another priest arising according to the order of Melchizedek, rather than one according to the order of Aaron? For when there is a change in the priesthood, there is necessarily a change in the law as well. Now the one of whom these things are spoken belong to another tribe, from which no one has ever served at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord was descended from Judah, and in connection with that tribe, Moses said nothing about priests. It is even more obvious when another priest arises resembling Melchizedek, one who has become a priest not through a legal requirement requiring physical descent, but through the power of an indestructible life. For it is attested of him, 
you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and righteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. In your tender love, deliver us, O God, from those who falsely accuse us, and comfort our aching hearts. Let us always remember the poor and needy, and may we ever sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Happy Easter.